So today I want to talk to you of a very unique comparison where you could compare trading with playing cricket. So now if you've never played cricket before, I guess you'll have to watch a cricket match and then come back to this video. But I want to kind of emphasize the concept and the relationship between trading and cricket. So in, in cricket, you have unlimited number of balls where, you know, if you're playing a test match especially, uh, you would have unlimited number of balls being thrown at you. And within a duration of time, you can then choose which balls you want to hit and which balls you want to leave. And by leaving the good balls behind and focusing on the bad balls, you will then uh, try to move your score forward in order to score a 50 or 100 runs. So that's the major concept. But let me just go a little bit deeper and dive into this. So, for example, you're playing cricket and you've got uh, five days is a test match. So this is just a comparison and analogy on a test match. So five days is a test match. And as you play this test match, you have unlimited number. I wouldn't say unlimited, but you have uh, a, a lot of balls, a lot of balls that would be thrown at you. And out of those balls that are thrown out to you, you now have to pick the bad balls and hit it to the boundary for a four. So for example, the first ball comes out to you, it's a, it's a yorker, if you know the concept of what a yorker is, uh, a yorker comes out to you and it's a very good ball, you defend it and it's a dot. A dot means you've not scored up the ball. The second ball comes out to you, it's, it's a very good ball, it's almost gonna hit the stumps, you defend it, it's a dot. The third ball is, you know, so the bowler now is confident or overconfident, knows that, okay, he's doing it in a very good rhythm, uh, tries to try something differently. It goes outside the stumps on the offside and you then hit it for a four. The next ball comes in, you hit a dot. It's a very good ball, hit a dot. So similarly to this concept, you've scored one, two, three, four, five, six. You've scored four runs in the first over that you face. Second over, you do the same thing. You score a dot, a dot, a dot, a four, a two, a one. That's the next over. The next over, you do the similar concept. You do a dot, four, dot, two, one. That's it. And similarly, you, you have a lot of dots and a lot of ones, and then you could do uh, one, 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 dot, two, and that's it. So what I mean by that is you've now given yourself the opportunity to not just go aggressively uh, hitting every ball that you get for a six. Now, if you remember, there were a few cricketers that actually did that, such as Shubhrat Singh and a few other cricketers. But the concept is not trying to aim for a four or a six on every ball, because what would happen is that if you want to try doing that, you may be successful a certain number of times and then you're, you're done. You're done. And then you got to wait for the next chance to come in and then try to score. So. In some, some cricketers are like aggressive and they like to perform this way and they may end up with, uh, you know, say, uh, say this is like 75 runs and this may end up with um, 60 or 75 runs. But overall, in, in the long term, there is a better potential that this person can head towards uh, 100 because he's more conservative. Like, you know, an example would be of Dravid um, or like, you know, uh, uh, some of the cricketers, uh, an example of this could be um, someone that actually just goes ahead and like just hits every ball for a six. Um, and there's so many like that, that do that. And, um, and it's just a matter of like, you know, your perspective on like, how do you want to play it? You know, there are day traders who do this and there are more test players and these are long-term traders who will actually uh, try to place yourself like give it yourself like days 
Now, the interesting part is that this test matches for five days, but your trading is infinite as long as you live. You don't have to end your trading today. You don't have to end your trading tomorrow. You could trade forever. And that's the beauty of trading is that you are not limited by you know the number of balls. Like you don't have like a test match to play with. You're not playing for just five days. You want to play for your lifetime and earn profits um, in, in the long run. So day traders, and the reason why they say, and this is a statistic, 90% of the day traders fail is because they're trying to aim for like home runs on every or like a six on every ball and it's hard to get that because sometimes it could be a very good ball thrown at you but you're trying to hit a six and you get caught out in the field so uh my lesson from you uh, on this concept or analogy is to make sure that you perform as um a test player and go for the long run don't try to hit the ball um every ball that you get and aim for uh, to be more conservative and look for only the bad uh, balls and now let me just give you what that means in trading when i mean in trading is that if you see the markets going up like this like this this is like a very good easy runs that you would get out of to hit because you know exactly when to go in even if you go in your you buy your you buy your you buy your and if you sell your you still have made so much of money and then you can you buy your buy your you sell your you made a lot of money so this is an easy run that you could get so finding stocks that actually perform this way or finding anything that performs this way that has a trend that has something to back itself out is what you should aim for now things that you should not aim for and this would be you know the concept that i go back to would be a yokor or this would be uh like you know a ball that's actually going to hit your stumps and this would be a range bound market like you know a choppy market that actually is all over the place and you you don't actually this is not true but you know you, you get the concept it's like um a market that's like you know in a range and it's not that it always goes from like this point to this point it could actually go your it could turn and that's what you should avoid because there's it's very hard to predict this so this is uh you know like a yoka ball and like what you would do in this case is avoid this market don't trade this wait for the market to now bounce out of this and then so say if the markets range bound here wait for the market to like break out and then if you need to short the market you can do that here or if you need to go long you can go long here but and then sell here but what you're doing is that you're actually waiting for the trend to then develop and then get it so i hope this made sense very simple concept, not rocket science, but this is something that I realized that, oh, you know, when watching cricket, it's like, how, how simple is it, but still so difficult. So I hope you could apply this into your trading journey and, you know, play the long game and come out successful at the end of it, because no one wants to be out on the first ball. And like, if you're out on the first ball, learn from your mistakes, you know, how you watch these uh, cricketers go back to like watching all the video replays of them performing, seeing what is their like weakness. Their weakness could be on the offside, like, you know, or they actually would be uh, hitting the ball. Uh, that's a Yorker ball. Like they keep getting bowled out for it. And that's their weakness. So identify your weaknesses by, you know, looking, journaling on your trades and finding out where exactly are your strengths where are your weaknesses and then focusing on that and seeing the next time that same ball comes how are you going to react are you going to hit it for a six are you going to defend it and stay away from the that trade or what are you going to do then journal that back again and see are you getting better and that's how you would get the cricketer of the year award or the trader of the year award and become more successful. So I hope that was useful. Stay tuned for another video coming up and I'll see you right